How to know if a cheating woman would cheat again. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. But first, watch the entire video. Next, I just want to let the women know we're not talking about all women. It just seems like it. And if it seems like I'm talking to you, you may want to check yourself. You should not feel offended by my videos if none of what I say pertain to you. All right. Now, when it comes to the guys, today we're going to be talking about how to know if a woman would cheat on you again. And the reason why I'm making this video is because, believe it or not, a lot of you guys actually take back the woman that has cheated on you and take back the woman that has done you wrong. Now, we all know this stimulates from childhood, things that you go through when you're raised and how your emotions shift, how you believe in yourself, how you always need somebody in your life. You guys know what I'm talking about. But today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down why you shouldn't take her back. But I'm just going to be dropping some hints out there and some signs for you to look out for so you know if she's going to do it again. All right, let's get started. First, you need to figure out why she cheated. So look at the last time she cheated and then what she explained why she cheated. See, if you know why she cheated, then you will know what to expect if things start going that way again. But once a cheater is always a cheater, you're already making a mistake by taking her back. But just pay attention to how everything led to her cheating the first time. Why? Because if your relationship starts drifting back in that direction, chances are she's probably going to go find somebody again. And if you're really needy, then you're probably going to forgive her again. That's just reality of what's going to happen here. A lot of guys actually take back the woman that cheated on them the same way. When a woman's in love, she may take back the man that cheated on her. So be very weary as to why she explained the first time that she cheat so you know what to look for. Next, you have to look at a woman's maturity level. The younger she is, the more likely she is to cheat because young girls are like scattered brains. Their emotions are always changing more throughout the day. So just with a little bit of flirtation and persuasion, young women can be manipulated to cheat. Another thing, younger women are known for having beta males majority of their teenage career. So understand, women are taught men are supposed to open doors and do this and blah, blah, blah and be nice. This is why you see all the nice guys at some point, they get the girls going up between college and high school, but they just don't keep them. They're the guys that actually are going to get played. So what you want to do is look at her maturity level. Ask yourself, did she mature after the last cheat or is she still acting like the same little girl? If she hasn't even matured since the last situation, then best believe she's more likely going to cheat again. Next, pay attention if she ever tries to make it up to you. If she did a little extra things in bed, she bought you any gifts, did she change her mind shit set? Did she start being more submissive? Did she start catering to you more? Has she actually tried to make up for herself cheating? If she hasn't did that, then all you've done is just forgave her just to have somebody to be around. And all she has is another punching bag that she can run all over and get whatever she want out of. See, you have to understand the alpha male would never let her get away with these things. So when a woman finds a man that's going to allow her to get away with anything that she want to do, then she'll stick around and just keep sucking your blood out, sucking your blood out and constantly apologizing. So pay attention to if she actually tries to make up for and show remorse for what she did. If she doesn't show any remorse for what she did, chances are she's going to do it again. And next, do she play the blame game? All right. Do she play a game where, okay, she cheated, but she used something that you did in a relationship that caused her to cheat? All right. It's called the same blame game where you may have flirted with a girl and she may try to pin it to where she thought you were cheating on her or she thought you were messing around with her. So it triggered her to go mess around with another guy to try to get back at you. 
if that's how your story is going, she's going to be with another woman. I mean, uh, if that's how the story is actually going or you've been in, she's going to cheat again. And the reason why she's going to cheat again, because all she did was confuse you about what happened in the situation. When women find a way to confuse you about the situation when they did something wrong, but they're playing the blame game, it shows them how easily that they can actually shift your emotions. Once they see that they can shift your emotions, then they actually don't even care about your emotions. Chances are, those are the type of girls that's gonna cheat again because they did that out of boredom. Shifting your emotions around just keeps them from arguing so they can pick and do something else. Next, she's still in contact with other men. Is she still in contact with guy friends? Is she still in contact with the person that she cheated you with? Is she still that girl that the guys know and she always has male friends? Think about that. If she's still always in contact with other guys and other men and she's still mingling and you guys just always have friends and she has to go somewhere, chances are she's going to cheat again. You have to understand when women fall in love, they want to be next to their man no matter what, no matter if it's in a mansion or if it's in a cave. She wants to be next to the man she loves. That's what a lot of you guys don't understand. The money isn't going to always get her. It just gets her attention. It doesn't make her love you. When a woman loves you, she wants to always be next to you. So if she still has to go out, mingle, get out and live a life after cheating and she hasn't like toned down, became submissive and wanted to be, to be more of a relationship with you, chances are she's going to do it again. Next, you need to find out some of her inner weaknesses. If she's the type of girl that just cannot stand being alone, she cannot stand being by herself, chances are she's going to cheat again because other women, right? What cannot hang out with her every day because they're actually in a relationship or they may have kids or they may be doing other things. So you have to ask yourself, is this the type of girl that always has to be around somebody and you may work long hours at your job? If she always has to be around somebody, she cannot be around a woman 24 seven because as her friends fall in love, her friends are going to want to be around her man. If she's in a relationship with you and she's not in love, she entertains herself with other men and she continues to do it. If you keep being blinded by her manipulation, all right? So if a woman checked off on this list of everything that you think if a woman checked off on everything on this list that you think she would do, chances are she's going to cheat, big dog, right? And a lot of you guys, you're just going to have to get stronger. You're going to have to get stronger inside before it change. One thing that I do know about this manosphere and guys that I've uh, mentored in the past is a lot of you guys, you end up going back being the same you. A lot of guys change. But it takes something really drastic and hard for you to change. But one thing that I noticed, it's hard for a man to change when the sex is really good. It seems like the better her sex is, the more she can get away with when it comes to a man. Hopefully you was able to understand that and get the message. This is Anthony Spade. Comment, like, subscribe. Hasta la vista. Just happened. We got to go down there and see what's going on. Something just happened. Got to go down and see what's going on. I think we may have a. As soon as you see him move, you can go. So watch this move. Hey, you should give him three car leaks and a hit. All right. YouTube, welcome back to Life with Anthony Spade. Today's the day I'm gonna try to race. We got the headers in right now. So, we about to head to the track. I got my race jacket on, the Mercedes race jacket. So, before we get started, we're gonna go ahead and hit y'all with the cold start. It is way louder, way louder in person so 
We're gonna do exactly what we did last time, about to hit up the car wash, get cleaned up, then we're off to the racetrack. Let's do it. <laughs> YouTube, what you just saw was my practice run now that I got down here, but we sitting here waiting for it to get a little bit dark, then we're gonna start the races. Looks like we got a pretty good crowd tonight. You look, down here in Mexico. That's just how we do it. All right, so see you whenever the races start. You in the right lane? All right, let me get you right here then. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh no, that track car gonna get him. Well, hey, Buzz, who you got, Buzz? You got the track car or the vet? Happened. We got to go down there and see what's going on. Something just happened. Got to go down and see what's going on. I think we may have a may have a situation here. How's it looking? <laughs> I thought he scattered that motherfucker. Holy shit. I Tell you this, that was a pretty good race. I think he stopped because <laughs> oh, he yeah, said he something was wrong. But that would have been a good ass race. All right, we're gonna go back and see what happened.
Yeah, I want. It's blue as exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> 